What is the difference between SEM and threat hunting? I got this question from someone on LinkedIn a few days ago. And uh, to start with, SIM or the uh, security information and uh, event management is basically a tool. And this tool, the goal of this tool is to take, to collect all the different logs from or different uh, alerts from different uh, sources, correlate this information together, search for um, correlate different information, compare them to the to the indicators of compromises coming from the threat uh, threat intelligence and do multiple things to detect suspicious activities. The mostly it is used to correlate this information and, and return a meaningful, um, meaningful results out of them, meaningful alerts. It can be helpful for visualization, for data mining, and it can help as well in the incident response to investigate more on the root cause of the attack and what other uh, compromised machines. So, SIM is basically just a tool. When we talk about threat hunting, threat hunting is a process. Threat hunting is basically, it's a process that starts with a hypothesis. The hypothesis is, um, is mostly around that we are compromised by a specific technique or specific uh, tactic or strategy that attackers are using. Mostly it, uh, it tries to understand what types of attackers that possibly could target my organization, what is their attack vectors, what their strategies, tactics, and procedures. And we take one hypothesis that we have been compromised by one attacker and he used that strategy. Let's try to find if we are actually, if this hypothesis is true or not true. So we do an investigation based on this hypothesis. We say, we believe that the HR has been compromised by an email included the malicious attachment. Then we do investigate that. We do look at the logs, we look at different uh, uh, different data sources. We can start with logs, we can go into memory forensics, digital forensics, whatever the ways we can do to, to find out if that hypothesis was true or not true. If it's true, then we do the whole incident response process. If it's not true, then we can create a new alert and put it somewhere to be to in our sim later on to give us an alert if something happens. That returns back to the question or, or the comparison between traditional uh, traditional detection, which is alert based, which is signature based, and between threat hunting, which is human based, and it's all about hypothesis. It focuses on the attacker and focusing on and it focuses on his tactics, techniques, and procedures. The, the difference is really massive when it comes to the, to the process and comes to what exactly we're looking for. Here we are looking on the, uh, on the, on the traditional detection. We are looking for a specific technique, for a specific, uh, a specific indicator of compromise. Maybe an MD5, maybe a domain, maybe an IP. Maybe a data has passed a specific threshold or stuff like that. But when it comes to um, to threat hunting, we are looking at a specific strategy. The attackers used to uh, to send us a spear phishing email with an attachment. We don't know the attachment, we don't know how the email looked like, but we do investigate the possibility of that. This is the main difference between uh, threat hunting and traditional detection. And traditional detection, mostly it is um, tool based on one of the most important tools is the SEM. The same as a tool can also be uh, helpful when it comes to threat hunting because we can use it to do data mining, to do deeper investigation, and actually to create a new correlations between the information, to visualize this information in a different way so it can answer the, the first question we have put, which is our hypothesis. If we don't know if there is, um, uh, let's say, if we want to check if there's an email with attachment, then we can look at our email logs, we can do a data mining, we can visualize this data, see the graph and how the same attachment have been sent across different um, different machines or the same uh, email with the same headline has been going from one user to another and we can possibly detect some patterns. So, hope that video was useful. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.